European Union provides vital food aid to refugees in Malawi to assist those economically affected by COVID-19. The European Union has donated 800,000 euros to the United Nations World Food Program, or WFP, for cash transfers to 41,000 food insecure residents of Malawi's Zaleka refugee camp. Additionally, the contribution will fund a pilot livelihoods project for camp residents, including income-producing activities such as waste management and recycling, soap production, face mask making, and hydroponics. The European Union is a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace Recipient and the Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Unconditional World Care, and True Caring Laureate. Our accolades, European Union and the United Nations World Food Program for your timely and continuous support of refugees and asylum seekers in Zaleka Refugee Camp. May they all soon find permanent housing situations and enjoy fulfilled lives marked by happiness and abundance. In God's boundless mercy. Supercomputers analysis prompts new theory on how COVID-19 affects the body. Using the world's second fastest supercomputer to analyze coronavirus patients' lung fluid samples, Dr. Daniel Jacobson and co-researchers at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, USA, have discovered that in severe cases, the coronavirus may create an excess of the bradykinin peptide, which causes blood vessels to leak and blood pressure to fall to dangerous levels. This would explain many symptoms that COVID-19 victims experience, such as fluid in the lungs or brain, heart damage, and more. The study also found evidence that vitamin D may help to stop the bradykinin imbalance from occurring and suggested common medications that could help likewise. Thank you, Dr. Daniel Jacobson and team, for helping us to understand COVID-19 infections better. May your findings help craft effective coronavirus treatments that save many lives in heaven's upliftment. Japanese engineer invents typhoon-proof wind turbine. Atsushi Shimizu has created the Magnus Vertical Axis wind turbine that can withstand typhoons and very high winds, and even generate electricity during these events. His company, Chalenergy, produces the units that are shaped like a cylinder and can handle wind speeds up to 144 kilometers per hour and gust up to 252 kilometers per hour. This sturdy generator, which can accommodate wind from any direction, is designed for places like Japan and the Philippines that regularly experience gale force winds. A 10 kilowatt turbine was installed in Ishigakijima, Okinawa, Japan and has already produced electricity during a typhoon, which Chell Energy believes is a global first. Our appreciation, Atsushi Shimizu and Chell Energy, for your invention that makes wind power a viable option in more areas around the world. May your turbines help Japan and other nations move further towards a future of safe green power in celestial unity. Check young people embracing addictive substance-free lifestyles. The European School Survey Project on Alcohol and Other Drugs, or ESPAD, recently reported that young Czechs are turning away from cigarette smoking, illegal drugs, and drinking alcohol while redirecting their time to surfing the internet and communicating online. The researchers surveyed 2,778 students born in 2003 across the country and discovered that in 2019, within the 16-year-old age group, the percentage of daily smokers dropped to 10% from 16.5% in 2015. Alcohol consumption in restaurants and discos declined from 84% in 2007 to 41.5% for this age group, while illegal drug use rates dropped to levels seen in the mid-1990s. Also, more teens reported regularly participating in sports. Many thanks, ESPAD, for your encouraging study. May the beautiful young souls of the Czech Republic stay healthy and always lead meaningful, productive lives in divine blessings. Teacher in Florida, United States turns in found bag of cash. Kennedy Middle School's Spanish language teacher, Leo Nicaragua, spotted a backpack on the street outside the school after classes ended for the day. It contained 6,000 US dollars in cash, a 15,000 US dollar check, three vehicle titles, as well as medical masks, latex gloves, and wipes. That day, his bank had emailed him, stating his account had a zero balance. Without hesitation, Mr. Nicaragua promptly gave the backpack to the school resource officer, 
and the police subsequently located the owner. He is a local business person, and the funds were for paying his staff. As a token of his appreciation, the owner rewarded the honest teacher with 300 US dollars and fixed his car's broken light, saving Mr. Nicaragua 400 US dollars. We are so happy to hear of your noble deed, Leo Nicaragua. May we all be inspired to follow your example of righteous action in heavenly splendor. Popular pizza chain launches vegan offerings in the UK and Ireland. Domino's Pizza recently introduced two vegan pizzas to its menu in 1,200 outlets across both nations. The flavors are the Vegan Veggie Supreme, which is made with plant-based cheese, red and green peppers, sweet corn, onions, and mushrooms, and the Vegan Margarita, which is made with tomato sauce, vegan cheese, diced tomatoes, and Domino's special herbs. Custom pizza creations with a vegan dough and cheese can also be ordered. Furthermore, the U.S. headquarter company is offering an animal-free version of its garlic and herb dip, which can be used for dipping or drizzling over the pizzas. Great work, Domino's, on the release of your plant-based pizzas. May your new compassionate food items spur even more vegan options to be available soon in restaurants across Britain and Ireland in the kind care of the Providence. China inaugurates its first ever center preparing captive bred sea turtles for ocean life. China recently opened a 2.33 hectare sea turtle rewilding base in Guangdong Province's Huidong Sea Turtle National Reserve to help reintroduce the resident reptiles into the ocean. The 1,500 turtles currently living in the reserve will be sent to the base in groups for training on how to find food before being set free. In the last 30 years, the reserve has released over 60,000 sea turtles into the wild. China is a Shining World Leadership Award for Wise Governance recipients and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Wildlife Protection, and Compassionate Protection Laureates. Such uplifting news, China, on your program to help increase the number of precious sea turtles in nature. May their population rapidly expand as they help to bring balance and biodiversity to our vital oceans. In heaven's abundant love, 